Hi everyone, uh, Jason Lee here, agronomist with Agco, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, cover crops and some of the benefits that we get from cover crops. And uh, so in this field here, uh, we have cereal rye. Uh, we seeded this last fall, uh, right after corn harvest, and we're gonna go into soybeans uh, this spring. Uh, we seeded this with our Sunflower 9831 uh, NT air drill. And if we think about, you know, cereal rye is one of the more popular choices uh, for cover crops when it comes in comes into play of how it fits into a typical corn and soybean rotation. And, uh, you know, for good reason. So cereal rye, uh, relative to other cover crops, it's pretty easy to establish. Um, it's a winter hardy, so it, you know, it, it grows pretty long into the fall. Um, it can grow in pretty cool temperatures, and then it'll start growing pretty early in the spring, um, sooner than a lot of other cover crops. And so we get a lot of good vegetation, a lot of good biomass accumulation, um, and it's adapted well to a lot of areas uh, within the corn belt. And so, you know, we get a lot of benefits from getting this much accumulate biomass accumulation uh, with cereal And so there's a lot of uh, benefits uh, that come to play with with this type of cover crop um, so it's very good when it comes to weed suppression uh, it has a very extensive rooting system so it's a really good cover crop to help build soil organic matter uh, obviously we have a lot of biomass here um, and so it really helps to fight soil erosion um, also compaction management you know with that good uh, extensive fibrous root system so it can also be a very good forage value for, for livestock producers as well. So the list goes on and on um, as you know, why cereal rye has become such a popular choice. Uh, it's a very popular choice following corn going into soybeans uh, the following year. Um, you know, and any time we talk about cover crop, you know, establishment is always uh, very important. The better we can get a good establishment, the more benefits we're gonna gain uh, from that cover crop. And so. Uh, when we, last fall, we seeded this um, cereal rye, about 50 pounds of pure live seed uh, per acre. Um, you know, seeding rate for, for, for rye like this, you know, it really depends on what your goal is. You know, are you gonna use this cover crop for weed suppression or is the primary goal for soil erosion or is it for forage, you know, whatever uh, your goal is will help dictate, uh, you know, what your optimum seeding rate is. Um, for first time cover crop users, uh, we typically recommend uh, in that 40 to 60 pounds per acre of pure live seed. Um, and then as you get more experience with it, uh, you can um, you know, increase or decrease your seeding rate accordingly. So that's what we did out here. Uh, we also seeded this at about an inch and a quarter deep, uh, which worked very well. Um, as I look across, we have a pretty good you know, uniform stand of, of rye uh, we've got good establishment. Um, typically, uh, seeding depths uh, anywhere from three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half um, is a good uh, good target depending on soil moisture. Uh, we usually don't want to go over two inches though uh, when it comes to cereal rye, um, but uh, we seeded this here at about an inch and a quarter. Um, you know, one of the questions then that we often get, especially for first time cover crop users, um, is, you know, how do I, you know, terminate this in the spring ahead of my soybean planting? Um, you know, especially if you're not used to this type of a system, and even me personally coming from more of a conventional heavy tillage type system, you know, it can be a little bit daunting to look out at all this biomass and uh, think that I've got to plant into this. And so, you know, that always, uh, you know, becomes a question is, you know, how do I take care of it uh, that in the spring? So our plan here, you know, we were, we were, our target was to spray this about two to three weeks um, or when it was about six to 12 inches high um, before we plant and get it killed then. Um, that way, you know, we spray it then, you know, two to three weeks before we plant, you know, the plants are good and dead, nice and brown and crispy, and we can come in and plant into that residue <clears throat> and shouldn't have any problems. Well, you know, mother nature doesn't always let that happen. Uh, we had a pretty cool spring in this part of the world uh, and so we just didn't get out here and get it sprayed. Um, and so we're actually gonna plant into it green now um, um, and then spray it, you know, right after we plant. And we'll be better off, I think, doing that, um, you know, plant into a green because as we look at um, a lot of these, uh, let me get down here so I can show you, you know, these stems are still very rigid 
and uh, you know very stiff um, and so you know we should be able to slice through that uh, pretty easy with our planter um, and get a good establishment now um, you know what we probably would not want to do is to spray this you know four five six days ahead of the planter and try to plant into it you know when it's half dead and, and yellow and and these uh, these stems are you know not so rigid um, and they just end up you know uh, wrapping around your planter you know that would create a, a situation that we definitely wouldn't want um, and so that's what we're gonna do here uh, we're just gonna plant into this um, cereal, cereal rye um, standing into green and then we'll spray it um, right after uh, we get done planting so that's the plan for tomorrow uh, thanks for watching and hope uh, hope you enjoy